Hey guys, it's May. Ah, what? I know I say that every month, but how is it May? <laughs> Welcome uh, to Lava to Stone. My name is Vanessa Hernandez. I'm a Reiki shamanic energy healer and a spiritual awakening mentor. Um, take these guys off. Uh, how are you guys doing? How are we hanging in there? So we survived April. Yeah, we survived April, if you're here watching this. Um, and we are currently in the middle of some mega choppy energy. We are in the middle of eclipse season. We have our lunar eclipses coming up on Friday. And um, that is closing out a really big story. And we had our solar eclipse two weeks ago which started a really big story right so we may be going through a lot right now where we are trying to navigate all these brand new beginnings these new paths these new ideas these new opportunities um you know clarity on like where we want to maybe shift our what we once thought was what we wanted to manifest was one trajectory and then suddenly we're like no actually I'm being shown, let's pull this way. What if it starts to unfold in this way, right? At the same time, we have major stories that are closing out. Um, there have been, you know, and this has been energy that's been unfolding for at least the last few weeks, uh, if, if maybe even starting back in March in that time, um, where closeouts were happening. So these are people who are were transitioning from being here with us in our life and then transitioning to the other side, right? The end of their story. Um, we have uh, many clients and friends that I know of and, um, you know, personally, there have been relationships that have ended and closed out. Um, there have been, whether that be with a romantic partner, whether that be with coworkers, um, a relationship with your company, the job that you are with. Um, uh, for me, it was a lot of closing out um, and Mercury is also in retrograde right now. So we're doing a lot of reflecting, right? So um, looking back at past relationships and recognizing where there were still a lot of open-ended pain, wounds, things that hadn't really been looked at until now um and uh ending closing out saying goodbye to the old me right where are you saying goodbye to the old version of you to close out a story in order to make room for a new story to come on in for that new version of you that's ready to step through so we have a lot of energy happening right now just a lot of choppiness uh i and, and maybe this doesn't resonate with you of course just take where it resonates um but I, I have seen in my clients, uh, with my guests, um, at the spa that I work at, um, you know, with friends, with family, with pretty much everyone I've come into contact with in the last month or two, where there's just a lot happening, um, a lot of sudden shifts, um, a lot of losing people, but also gaining new opportunities. Um, a lot of shadow work coming up and a lot of the universe really making us face our stuff. Uh, so how are you doing? <laughs> so April was a big month of where we were able to really face some real, uh, the goods, we were able to really come face to face with things and really recognize where it, is, where it was that we were and may still are, be um, keeping ourselves uh, locked into this cage, being held captive in our, based on our own habits and our own belief systems and our own, um, you know, uh, wounds and, you know, a lot of things that were no longer serving us, but we're still these templates we're hanging on to, not realizing it, right? Self-sabotage, things like that. Or was that just me going through all this? Um, so throughout the month, as we kind of tackled each one layer by layer by layer, that's that healing journey that never ends, right? You always think you've, well, I thought I dealt with that already. That's not how this works. You, 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 you did um, for another layer 
right? And some things eventually close out and clear. Fantastic. And of course, once it happens, something new comes up. <laughs> We're constantly growing and evolving. Um, so thinking back on um, these maybe constraints or these uh, jails or these um, prisons or however it is you want to think about it, that we were feeling so stuck in certain ways and then recognizing where um, we were actually there by choice, just not realizing that we were making that choice because the choice was stemming from an old habit, an old wound, an old belief system, um, the way we're speaking to ourselves, right? How we were not taking care of those four bodies of ours that we talked about last month. Um, and I, I mean, I'm like, I always say I'm on this journey with you. And I did, you know, recognize at one point um, that even though I was, you know, helping supply and deliver some of the homework on things to work on in April, I was slacking in one of the four areas. I was really on top of the other three areas, uh, three bodies, right? And one of the bodies, I was like, oh my God, I completely forgot about you. And I was like, oh, okay, all right. What, you know, what is it that keeps stopping me from wanting to take care of this part of my body, um, of this particular one? And where is it that I have limited belief systems um, and my own? Um, what is my talk that I always tell myself? Oh, well, you know, going to the gym isn't fun. Uh, I'm not good at, uh, like I've been hearing myself say this lately and I'm like, ooh, we gotta rewire this. I've been really good at starting things and then following through is not really my, as in like consistency when it comes to, for example, a gym routine, right? Things like that. And I was like, ooh, I slacked on that one part that I was so excited to do. Um, and as soon as I recognized, I was like, okay, making that choice for shifting today from this moment on, we're going to take care of that fourth body and, um, start rewiring that wording of no longer saying I'm really good at starting things and not great with the consistency. I did this again last night, talking to a girlfriend of mine and I was like, Oh, I did it again. <laughs> rewire, rewire. Um, I love to continue evolving and growing and I know that it takes commitment and it takes consistency for that to continue, which I'm great at in other areas of my life, right? It's all about finding balance. We're all working on stuff. So where is it that in April you found that you had released yourself from this confinement? Where is it that you found this newfound freedom, okay? And you're still in the process, I'm sure. I'm still facing things. I'm still, every day, it's always something new. But, um, you know, one thing that I must say that, uh, and you who are out there know who you are, I am so, so grateful to be surrounded by um, friends, um, family, um, an amazing partner, um, you know, individuals in my life who, allow me to show up in the mess that I am sometimes and to voice my fears, which was a big thing that was really hard for me to do this month and I was forced to do it. Um, uh, and to voice my fear of using my voice, you know, and recognizing what, where that fear was coming from and, you know, having people in my life who, who held space and who listened and who let me freak out and talk through everything. Um, and who were by my side the entire time, who did not shut me out or go, oh God, here she goes again, or Vanessa's losing it, you know. Instead, it was, um, you know, let's work through this together, right? Uh, it's a new thing for me to be aligned, really, with somebody who um, is by my side in the nastiness of it, as in a partner, um, who, who will hear everything that I have to say and share their side of it. And both of us are in a space where we are sharing things that are coming up for us and we both are supporting each other and going, let's do this together. Your wound, my wound, we're here for each other. Um, without there being some kind of consequence. <laughs> uh, and, you know, and, and um, recognizing where I play a part in that as well in other dynamics. And so, so again, um, you know, if, if you have been going through things, just take a moment and think about the people that have been there for you, who have listened, who have responded to your texts, who have picked up that phone, who have um, 
sent you that silly meme when they suddenly thought about you feeling like, yeah, I think they could use a little smile. And you're like, thank you, I needed that. Uh, who listened to your 45 minute voice memos or whatever it may be. Um, and think about, you know, where it is that you've been showing up for others and holding space for others and checking in, making sure that you have an equal energy exchange and an equal balance in that aspect as well. You know, we, we all go through our own things, but everyone else is going through their stuff too. So where is it that we are giving and where is it that we're receiving and making sure that we're open to both. So that was April, right? Shifting now we're into May and we are barreling into May and we've got this big eclipse happening on Friday. Um, a lot of revelations happening this week. I know many people where there's a lot of clarity coming through going, oh, my story is changing. And maybe it was things that you never really thought about before. And then you're like, oh, the universe is making these very, very clear for me. I gotta, I gotta deal with this now, you know? Um, but as we're working through that freedom and kind of getting to know, going through that transition and getting to know this um, new part of us that we're stepping into, what are we gonna do with this newfound freedom, right? So we're going into May, um, at least here in this good old Pennsylvania. Um, uh, you know, it's starting to get a little warmer this morning um i waited the gym it was 40 degrees <laughs> but last week uh it was 30 so you know and there were snow flurries so <laughs> um uh, but spring is coming um or is here it just comes a little later in weather wise and then quickly it's followed by summer which is my favorite time of the year here um and so it's you know what are I don't know what's going on where you are, but um, at least here in the U.S., kind of based on my awareness at least, um, you know, once May kicks in and then we have a Memorial Day weekend and that kind of kicks off the start of summer season, right? Um, and a lot, you know, that's, this is a month when farmers markets start to open up again. This is a month when festivals start opening up again. Um, events start happening, outdoor things. Um, you know, and and so what I'm kind of encouraging you to think about doing now that we've kind of gone through this thing where we've broken through these old habits, we're recognizing these old patterns, we're, we're um, putting to rest old ways of doing things, honoring what part of our story is, has closed and shifted to something different. Um, maybe taking this month to take a bit of a breather and and you know start to explore what your community has to offer you um and whether you know if you have access to a community around you whether you're in a little town like i am where they're going to start doing street fairs and things like that right um or in my hometown back in california they do things down on main street by the water and they're a little uh <clears throat> little craft fairs and picnics and you know all the things that come up um or if maybe you're in an environment where you're like that's not where i live <laughs> um you know taking a look around going online seeing if there are uh some new classes coming up around you maybe dive into something you've never done before explore what it's like to do crafts i don't know um it's gonna start getting nice out or it's really nice outside, go join a club. Um, if you're like, Vanessa, I don't have money for this, fine. Do your homework. There are so many options for um, free uh, events to take you and your family with. Um, maybe, you know, maybe you have new relationships, new connections coming in with this new beginning, you know, um, or maybe you're having a new beginning with an old connection with someone that's been in your life for a long time. Allow the new to affect everything and maybe have the kids go with you, have your partner go with you, have a new friend go with you to explore and try something new um, and start making new memories, things like that. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Or maybe like, I don't want to go outside. I don't want to see people. Fine. Buy a new cookbook and start making new recipes. You know, stop by the farmer's market. Um, don't talk to anyone, but support local farms or whatever that may be, right? Do something that is going to support whatever this new adventure is that you are, um, that you are paving out for you. This new manifestation, this new this new lane going down, right? Um, yeah, so I guess 
that's kind of, you know, it's, it, there's, there's, I've been thinking a lot about, um, my, I've been aware of, and I, I know of, uh, there, a lot of, um, whether it's through friends, clients, or, um, personally, I know of many people who have, uh, been losing loved ones. Um, and a lot of them are sudden, didn't see it coming, things like that. And, you know, it made me think of that, that saying that people say when they, you know, talk about living each day as if it's the last day of your life. And how would you live if you knew today was the last day, right? Which I think is a valid question. Um, but I kind of took that thought and I shifted the perspective and I encourage you to kind of think about this. What would happen if you chose instead to live every day as if this is the first day of the rest of your life? Right? Um, what if you approach each day uh, with curious eyes, um, exploring, discovering something new? Even if you're going just to the same job you've gone to for the last 20 years in the same office, you can find something new, whether it's at the office, um, whether, you know, maybe you are walking into the building and you see a cool stone on the ground or a flower or something that you can pick up and you can bring it into the office with you bring a little life into the office bring something new um take a different route to work you know um if you are a specific habit and you always have the same thing for breakfast same thing for lunch you know shake it up a bit <laughs> pack breakfast for lunch you know <laughs> uh do something different um while we are rewiring and shifting into an, a new story if we are trying to start a new story but we stay in the same habits and we stay in the same thought process and the same um everyday routine nothing within us is going to shift right and if we don't shift then our external is not going to shift if we don't make room or try getting ourselves out of our comfort zone to bring in or to explore something new then that's if we don't do that that's not going to open up that energy to allow these new experiences to come in where you might suddenly meet that one person that gets you hooked up with whatever it is who knows this and this and into that class and into that network that then leads you down to this brand new thing that you've been focusing on to manifest you never know. So, maybe try it out. Maybe try it out. Try living the rest of today and maybe even tomorrow as if it's the first day of your new life and see what happens, right? Explore. Be curious. Be smart. <laughs> Don't be reckless, but have fun. Start playing again. Um, yeah, that's what I have for May. That's what I'm taking in May with me. We need a break from April. Um, if you had a heavy April, be on top of your self-care. Take those naps when you need them. Try not to push, right? Um, a lot of us are getting excited with these new opportunities and lining things up and things that might start happening and changes, things like that. Breathe while you go through it. We're still in Taurus season. It's not Aries anymore. The go, go, go is not gonna work so well um, with this energy. So allow yourself to still take your time with it. Plan things out, look things over, double check everything um, and keep letting the feels come up. Keep letting, um, keep letting the things come up that need to surface, uh, that need some attention and some healing and all that fun stuff. All right, guys, thanks for hanging in there with me. Happy, happy May. Um, I look forward to seeing you guys in June. If I can be of any assistance to you, please feel free to, um, reach out and, you know, maybe we can come up with some ideas on how to move your story forward, more ways to explore new things to do. Um, I do have some new classes and workshops that are coming up. Uh, right now they're in person. So um, be sure to jump on that newsletter down below if you happen to be in the Poconos area, in the Holly area, um, in Pennsylvania. Uh, and I am working on things to start doing online now too because I am having people ask. So if anybody has ideas like what you wanna learn, what do you wanna focus on, things like that, um, what you'd be interested in exploring, um, please feel free to message me. Find me online, lavadestone.com, on all the social medias. All of the links are down below. 
and um, give me ideas on what you guys want, right? Um, I'm excited to keep reaching the community and reaching all of you. Thank you so much for being here with me. And uh, yeah, I'm sending you so much love. Don't forget, you sign up for the newsletter. The freebie you get is a five-step guided meditation on how to energetically take care of yourself, grounding your energy, protecting your energy, clearing your energy of your own lower vibrations, clearing your energy of everybody else's energy, cutting cords in there, and then calling your own energy back home. Take care of you. I love you. And uh, let me know about what are your new, what are the things that have closed out? What are the new things that you're starting? And give me some ideas of some of the new things you're gonna explore within this next month and take it into the summer. There's all sorts of things happening this summer. All right, thanks guys. Take care and have a beautiful rest of your day.